before I start this cleaning test, I wanted to show you a, a real situation here. So I'm using, you know, when I uh, published my first video with that more simple test for Roidme. And uh, this is after all this time, ne nearly daily using and I'll, I had a, a flood in my apartment and this little guy really helped, helped me to maintain that situation for those maintenance cleanups and this is how these pads look I mean this is some deep dirt which uh, won't uh, leave traces but uh, and this is how it looks inside and now when you know all this I want to do this test beca because this is a realistic situation this is how will your robot vacuum look after some time and you just want to press the button and have a cleanup it's not uh, those perfect scenarios aren't realistic so this is why I wanted to show you all this and now I will start the test and see how the cleanup will look this is the place which will be cleaned and uh, it's re relatively clean at this point uh, there, there are no heavy buildups I will bring them now and prepare what needs to be cleaned also not to forget i emptied the dirty water bin the clean water bin is uh, full of water so let's see what will happen this is how i imagined this ultimate test for roidme we have everything here, all kinds of snacks, big, small ones, a lot bigger. We have a red paprika, coffee, yogurt, so fats and uh, everything that can leave traces. And this is really unrealistic situation, I mean, to have all this mess on one place and run just the robot um, i will do this test um, like this the robot will uh, clean itself and run on uh, maximal suction two passes and after that we will see how it looks and if it's needed we will run one more cleaning my personal opinion is that it will need to to run two times with uh, two cleaning of pads for a perfect look but let's see and this is really really hard, hard situation for the robot keep that in mind because uh, the pads are already in use for more than one month or something like that i'm not really sure you can uh, look at my first video and see when i started using the robot so let's see what will happen and let's start the robot i will choose maximal su suction uh, sweep and mop okay two times two passes start cleaning
The second pass is programmed to be just mopping, which it's not that good for this situation uh, as there is a lot of leftover. So what I will do, I will uh, run the robot back to the base, uh, do a cleanup and uh, after that we will see what will happen. Start returning to the base station for mud washing. So I am giving command to Robert to go back to the base, do a cleanup of the mops and after that we will run the second cleaning which will basically be like the it was going to two times. Uh, what I didn't know is that if you set two times, the first time it will go with the the suction and the second time will just go mopping. The road me is cleaning the mops. Uh, what I wanted to show you that the first pass is not that bad. I mean consider how much uh, I have uh, debris on the floor. I mean it is still it is still uh, wet but uh, the actual situation is not that bad for the first pass so I'm hoping that uh, after the second pass we will have pristine condition At this point, robot is doing a second run which out vacuuming and we have some debris left. We will leave the robot to finish the job with the mopping and we will see the how, how the clean floor actually is. 
The main problem which I see here is that there is a debris left over. In the defense of the Roymi, the, the, there was really a lot of debris. But uh, I really and deeply think that this is only a realistic test if you want to see how, how ca capable the robot actually is. I mean, I, I would never leave this much mess for the robot only, but uh, you guys wanted to see what, what it can do. Uh, it is a bit shame the pattern wasn't like this when it was uh, doing the first run. So maybe if they a bit do a bit of um, calibration for, for the system to, to work better, uh, it can do uh, a lot better job when vacuuming at least. Because for me the mopping really looks nice. I mean, uh, as you can see, the, it was doing uh, the pattern in both ways which is quite a cool. Cleaning finished. Start recharging. Start returning to the base station for mop water. I will wait now for the floor to dry and after that we can see the real situation. Moment of truth. So these are leftovers. Uh, these ones dropped out from the mop. This few here and here. But if you ask me, nothing major. The shine looks good. And uh, this is clean paper. Oops. As you can see, it looks perfectly clean. There are few dots of red paprika and I on purpose left red paprika because it will always show up. I mean always, it is really hard to clean it. And trust me, if just this is left over from all that which I left, this is good. Trust me guys, this is good because Red paprika is uh, really, really tiny and uh, it is really hard to clean even if you are mopping with a uh, big mop. So if we not consider these and these leftovers can be sold with uh, pattern update when cleaning uh, if the robot was going with vacuuming uh, uh, with uh, crossover pattern, it will pick up everything. But uh, I think there there is a space for improvement. It is not uh, uh, these leftovers are not a big deal because all this consider the, the 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 amount of debris was really huge. And. Let's pick up leftover. What I'm really interested in now is how much leftover is on the on the mops. So this is the situation, uh, this hair and everything was on the robot even before the, the mopping, or before this test. These are the mops. Exit mopping mode. 
you know how they say in Chernobyl, not bad, not terrible. So what I want to do now is uh, to run a mop cleaning manually mode. one more time and see how much debris will be left. Charging. Let's start the cleaning. Cleaning is finished. Let's see now. Are there improvements? Boss recharging. Exit mopping mode. There is definitely less red here. Yes, definitely less leftovers. Keep in mind these weren't washed for like a month, maybe a, a bit less, but uh, actually the robot was never cleaned s since uh, I started using it. And uh, if you ask me, all this in this test is pretty damn good, considering the situation. I mean, in realistic scenario, at least for me, if I had this much debris, I would uh, pick it up but manually. And if I really don't want to mop manually, I would run the Roid Me and uh, the job would be done uh, perfectly. Because in this scenario, we have a really huge amount of debris, liquid and hard, and uh, the algorithm is not the best, I admit that. Uh, there is a space for improvement, and I hope they make those improvements. improvements. So, overall, uh, I'm, I need to say I'm happy with results. I would like to hear you guys... Uh, tell me your opinion, uh, because, uh, you know, 100 people, 100 opinions, everybody have uh, uh, their vision of how these things should work. Uh, for me, uh, I mainly use it for maintenance. Uh, I run it uh, every or every second day, every day or every second day, and for me, it does job well. Uh, I personally would never run it with this huge amount of debris. Um, but uh, the important thing is that this thing would nearly finish this uh, job here, this test here, if uh, if the the second pass was with vacuuming, and of course, especially because it was the first, it was going like this. And second pass was like this. Uh, if vacuuming was active on the second pass, it would be a lot better, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, there are bad and good sides, and it, it is on you to really have a vision if this Roid Me Eva is good enough for you. For me, it is really nice. I like it more than Roborock. I mean, Roborock is really good robot. It works really well, but uh, I don't need to clean this that much like Roborock. Uh, uh, I mean, for mopping, I will speak for Roborock in some other video, but uh, this is the story about Roid Me Eva. Test for dustbin emptying. So, dust box is removed. Dust box is removed. Dust box is removed.
reinstalled. Start recharging. is removed as you can see it got nearly all debris from the dustbin and I need to clean this after this test I decided to do a detailed cleanup the new mops the the first set will finally get a washing mash, a machine wash. Mm -hmm. This is this is a dustbin. This is going here. It was full of dirt, you know, which is quite normal. You will need to to clean this compartment at least once per month. Let's see how much water, water got dirty. Oh, this is the next level, guys. This is really, really, yeah, dirty. I want to show you a few things about the app. At this point, uh, you you need to use a Roidme app. At a later point, um, uh, you would be able to use a MeHome app. In my case, I have here my other robot vacuums. So, for now, I will show you a Roidme app. They are all major important features. Uh, you have maps, map saving. It works flawlessly, no problems about that. Uh, you can uh, do a full cleanup, a partition, the rooms, area, and point. Uh, here you can select um, vacuuming power sweep and mop which is mopping and vacuuming just mopping and uh, only cleaning sadly can be only used when uh, you remove the mops i'm not really a fan about that i would like if that if you can use just uh, uh, only vacuuming mode with uh, mops attached, especially for maintenance vac vacuuming. I prefer to do that because I would like to, uh, if if I was able to run just vacuuming first and after that only pure drag. But it seems that they implemented implemented that uh, with uh, sweep and mop on their own with their own philosophy uh, by doing a sweep and mop and if you select uh, two passes at first pass it is uh, vacuuming and mopping and second pass is just mopping uh, 
I would like if this can be done on my way, but hey, I'm not uh, uh, in charge about this. Uh, after that, uh, yeah, you can uh, rotate the map, sweet feature, uh, collect dust and wash, manual control, start cleaning, uh, charge, uh, this is to go back to dock. Advanced features are here. Here you have uh, a vir virtual walls and uh, forbidden zones, mop of forbidden zones. <sighs> After that partition editing here you can uh, merge and divide the rooms. Sweet feature to have, a must have. A map mode uh, where you can uh, add additional maps and so on. Here you can do uh, shell do cleaning, cleaning records, 62 times 529 square meters and 668 minutes of my experience of cleaning with Roidme Eva. Notifications. Mm, you have sequences you can choose uh, order when you do a full cleanup at which order the robot will go voice volume I am here I am here uh, consumables I should clean the sensors. I should reset this because I cleaned the sensors recently. I, I forgot to do this. Also, the map, uh, side brush. I cleaned the sensor, middle brush. Everything is cleaned up. Uh, Here you can update your robot. Base station settings, uh, dust collection frequency. You have a few options here. And uh, you have an option to, to choose after how much time the robot will go back and clean the mops. It is six, nine, and 12 minutes. Uh, my complaint about this is that it really needs a feature where you can choose uh, let's say I want uh, the mobs to be cleaned after every cleaned room or after every second room cleaned. Uh, for me, I think that this is the must-have feature to be implemented. General settings. You have a priority of use of radar. I think that this is the must-have to be on. Carper, carpet pressurized mode. Uh, basically what this does is uh, it will recognize the, the carpet and use the maximal suction. Uh, with carpet avoidance mode, when this is on, uh, the robot will avoid the carpets. And that will be regarding the app. Uh, when the mopping and vacuuming is on, it will use a blue line to to show a covered area. I would prefer if a blue line would have uh, that thin line because I love to see where a robot was going and if it have some problematic spot uh, where it uh, used too much time. Overall, the app is uh, good. There is a place for improvement, but uh, pretty decent. Not perfect, but pretty decent. I want to show you a few things regarding uh, the dock. You have a really nice screen. It is OLED screen and uh, it's usually dimmed like this. But if you soft press any button, it will glow up. It is more of cool feature than practical because uh, there are some animations depending of what you choose to do. Uh, anyway, I wanted to explain these four buttons here. The main feature of them is that basically the things which you can do from the app, you can do here. 
Uh, this one is to wash the mops, uh, to manually start that. This one is to start the cleaning or get the robot back to the base. Uh, this one is to pause to pause anything, like uh, if uh, the dog is doing something, cleaning the mops or uh, extracting the dust from the bin, you can pa pause that. Uh, and this is for uh, for uh, to empty the the dustbin. Overall, the robot really looks nice. It is, um, I mean, dog and robot, like complete package. They really look uh, beautiful. The design is great. The plastic is really good. There is no crunching at all, or it is a made finish. It is not a really huge dust or fingerprint collector. Um, really practical for, for exterior cleaning and so on. This is the dust bag which I use from the day one and it is still not full. This, uh, really, this really depends on how big your house is or apartments. I want to speak about uh, something that majority of people will do. Uh, mostly, and that is the regular cleaning, uh, mopping and vacuuming. And regarding that, this robot, Roidme Eva, shines, really shines. I'm using it sometimes every day, usually every second day. Sometimes I clean just one room or my uh, entrance in the apartment uh, because there is uh, uh, mostly debris build-ups from the shoes when I come in and those situations, you know. Um, regarding that, uh, this robot really shines uh, at uh, regular, regular maintenance. Uh, the test which I done at the beginning of the video is something which will probably never happen in real life scenario. Because uh, why would you let the robot pick up that much debris if you can just pick pick it up manual, manually with some tool and after that let the robot just polish everything up and pick up the rest. I would do like that, but uh, I did the test so you can see what are really uh, realistic capabilities of this robot. And, uh, but again, I want to, to go back and speak about uh, uh, regular maintenance. Uh, the navigation is really good. I really didn't have uh, a lot of problems regarding navigation and something like that. It would, it will hit uh, small objects. There is no 3D sensor on the front, which is, I think, uh, the, the biggest flaw which uh, it has, uh, sadly. Uh, I wish uh, Roidme did implement a 3D sensor on the front. That would be a perfect and really a huge thing to have at this point because it is all really good all around package and uh, with a 3D sensor it would be uh, a lot closer to that perfection which we all want. So if you ask me, this is a really good product overall. Uh, I really hope that uh, Roidme will implement uh, some uh, tweaking and um, cleaning algorithm uh, here and there in the robot, in the uh, docking and cleaning station. So it is uh, something that we will see over time. But if we look back at the previous Roidme products uh, and Xiaomi in general, they 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 usually update their products. So I really hope that that will happen. And uh, at this point, uh, at this point, I'm uh, overall satisfied with my purchase. And I really hope that this uh, review about Roid Me uh, will help you get um, objective uh, opinion about this product. And if you have uh, any questions, suggestion, uh, opinion, please share it down down below in the comments. Uh, I love to hear it, lo love to share experiences.
don't forget to subscribe and until next time see you